Hi, welcome to Beginning Ukulele. Uh, today we're going to talk about the 3-4 finger picking pattern. Uh, you can play this picking pattern with any 3-4 time music. And what that means is that if you see a piece of music that's in 3-4 time, you see this signature, 3 over 4. That means it's 3-4 time. That means you have 3 beats per measure. For instance, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's three beats per measure. So the song travels one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you can utilize this picking pattern for um, the three, four time picking. Now, hopefully you have done the previous tutorial. Uh, they get prepares you for this tutorial, this lesson. It was the four finger grab. It helped you to get the um, um, well actually your fingers into, into uh, the area of the ukulele strings and being able to be comfortable with them so you could naturally just pick up this picking technique okay so um, if you did this shouldn't be too hard for you to adapt to if you did not look at that tutorial prior to this one you want to go back look at that tutorial try it for at least a few times get comfortable then come back to this tutorial if you if you did not do it then it's just going to take a little bit longer uh, to learn the technique you eventually learn it but you won't learn it as fast okay so this is a little drawing of how it's going to look these are the four strings of the ukulele strings right here basically the open strings are G C E A four strings and I'm not a good uh, artist so this is supposed to be your hand this is your thumb index finger ring finger uh, middle finger ring finger if you notice like discussed in the four finger grab tutorial every finger has a job has a string that you're going to pluck on this is the baby finger it's used for stabilization so you'll be using the picking pattern okay the baby finger is just holding the hand steady on the ukulele and the four, four uh, fingers, meaning the thumb, index, middle, and ring, are going to be the fingers that actually pick the strings in a sequence to cause a picking pattern. So let's go through that together. Now that you have an idea. So, uh, once again, there's two ways of stabilizing the hand. One is with the baby finger. I highly recommend that uh, because it just gets you there faster. Now, some people find that uncomfortable which is fine, that means you're going to have to, if you got nothing stabilizing your hand while you pick, you got to stabilize your hand with your wrist, okay, it's just going to take a little longer, but just, if you're comfortable doing it that way, just be patient, it'll eventually come, okay, so I'm going to use my baby finger to stabilize, so basically I'm finding a spot where I'm holding the strings, and usually when you're picking, usually you're picking somewhere near or above the sound hole, Okay, so my baby finger is stationary, uh, stabilizing my hand. Okay, once again, the fingers are the thumb on the top, next will be the index on the, the C string, the middle on the E string, and the ring on the A string. So let's go through that together. Thumb on top, then we got the index, middle, ring. So these three right here, actually four fingers, all have a string, all have a job to do. Here we go. Thumb on top, index, next, middle, second, ring on the bottom. Okay? Baby finger stabilizing. So when you're picking a 3-4 time, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the two outside strings first. Okay? So you want to pick the two outside strings first. That's these two outside strings here. We just call it picking number one. And then we're going to pick this string here second and this string here third. So the pattern goes as follows. The two outside, they pl they're, they're plucked together. Thumb and ring. They're going to go first. Okay. However, keep, try to keep your fingers on the strings um, for guidance. And then next will be your second string, okay, with your middle finger, and thirdly will be your index on the third string, and that's the picking pattern. Okay, so let it go. 
on the outsides, one, two, three. One, two, three. On the outsides, one, two, three. One, two, three. Slow it down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You notice that if you did your four finger grab exercise tutorial before you did this, it's a lot easier because your hand already knows what it feels like, where it goes, the positioning, the area, etc. Okay, outside turns first. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice that I am holding my strings dead. No sound. All you want to do is get that kind of popcorn sound. Popcorn sound. And what's interesting is that where you hold your hand here gives you a different sound. Just something uh, FYI. Okay, so getting back to the um, picking pattern. Outside, inside. Outside first, inside. The count is one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sling it down. One, two, three. Outside, second, third string. Outside, second string, third string. Outside string, second string, third string. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so try that. It's uh, some people catch on to it quicker than others. However, albeit, just don't give up. Keep practicing it. The goal is to try to make it smooth. Okay, try to make it smooth. Get that popcorn sound. This is something where you want to watch your hand. You want to literally look at your right hand picking the strings, okay? So that's um, the actual technique for the picking. And then um, what you can do, once again, is uh, utilize this picking style on all of your three, four time picking songs. In fact, what really goes good with this is the uh, song On Top of Old Smoking. That really work, works out well with uh, picking uh, for that song. Okay, well, if you need to, by all means, back up the tutorial, watch this a few more times, get comfortable with, with the idea of how to pick it, and when you're ready for the next lesson, we shall see you there.